Although tornadoes are more common in certain parts of the United States, they have been reported in all 50 states. On average, tornadoes cause 70 fatalities and 1,500 injuries in the U.S. each year, but some years see much higher numbers. A typical year in the U.S. sees over $1 billion in property damages due to tornadoes. Although many properties hit by a tornado may experience complete destruction, many more survive the storm with anywhere from minor to major property damage. They may be left with damage due to strong winds, hail, heavy rain, and even flooding when roofs, walls, windows, and plumbing are destroyed. Many of these properties can be rebuilt, but there are hazards, aside from live electrical wires and leaking gas lines, that people need to be aware of. They include mold. Mold can begin to grow in as short as 24 to 48 hours on many types of building materials and household belongings. It is important to begin drying materials as soon as it is safe to do so. Some non-porous materials can be cleaned and salvaged, but most porous materials should be discarded if mold growth is present. Sewage bacteria, viruses, and chemicals. Water damage and flooding caused by a tornado can bring not only rainwater into a property, but also viruses, bacteria, and chemical contaminants. This may result from sewage that is leaked or from damaged chemical containers stored on the property. Asbestos. Many materials found in older homes contain asbestos. When removing damaged materials, the asbestos fibers can become aerosolized. Inhaled asbestos fibers can cause respiratory disease, lung cancer, and mesothelioma. Lead. Lead is a concern because it is a highly toxic metal. The disturbance or removal of materials containing lead-based paint from properties built before the 1978 ban on lead and paint may result in elevated concentrations of lead dust in the air. These are just a few things to consider when rebuilding after property has been damaged by a tornado. For additional information about potential indoor environmental hazards, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.